All right. Let's see if this thing fucking works. Hello. So, uh, there's been some conjecture uh, about whether or not there's a point to wearing uh, soft pistol armor, uh, 3A soft armor, and the like, if you are, if you may encounter a rifle threat. And uh, while we already know the answer to that question, we don't expect you to take our word for it. So we're gonna do a quick demonstration of uh, the amount of clay displaced as a rough estimate of energy transfer when hit with 762 by 39, 122 grain FMJ from a 16 inch barrel AKM through 3A polyethylene armor and then without. Uh, for a little compare and contrast. I think you might find the results rather surprising. Also, do not try this at home. I am wearing a lot of PPE that you can't see and that you can see, and uh, I'm standing way too close to this target. Yeah, flashlight in there. There's a neat there's something neat to see. Mushroomed out on the bottom of that is a bullet. Alright. Now that absolutely did not stop it, and you would absolutely still be having an awful goddamn day. Please don't get hit. Hang on. They really do be like that sometimes. So this was a fun test, if a little unscientific. We decided on 7.62 by 39 because it's a common rifle cartridge that's relatively ill-suited to armor penetration to begin with, and so we believed it would show the largest difference between the two hits. The main difference we can see between the two impacts is that the first impact through the vest did not have enough energy to penetrate the backing plywood of the target stand. Instead, the projectile tumbled and mushroomed, creating a channel that widened as it progressed. In the unarmored hit, we see it make a clean, relatively even width channel through the clay and through the back of the stand. The point of this test is not to show that you would survive this hit while wearing a vest or that handgun rated armor is effective against rifle rounds. This only demonstrates that wearing flexible polyethylene armor rated for handguns absorbs an observable amount of energy from 762 by 39 Had the shot been from a greater distance or through soft cover, it's relatively reasonable to assume that the effect of the vest would have been even greater. Had the hit been from M855 ball, we can assume that the effect of the vest would have been much less.